Alabama locking down the state, something that they've been criticized of big time in this cycle. They get a pair of teammates, highly ranked James Smith and Quay Rousseau. Uh, these are guys that, you know, some people like more than us rankings wise, but we know their special talents regardless. Borny, how big is this one for Alabama to win out? Yeah, I think super big because Alabama needed defensive linemen in this class and some from the state had gone elsewhere. We, you know, have fallen in love again with Peter Woods after the Alabama Mississippi game. He's completely unstoppable, but he's going to Clemson. Uh, Kelby Collins is another in-state guy who it looked like Alabama had wrapped up. He went to Florida. So they, they were in need of some defensive linemen in this class. And these are two really, really special ones. James Smith, when he turns it on, can be one of the best interior defensive linemen in the country. We've actually moved him up because we're kind of projecting to college in the NFL. I think he's going to be a complete dog in Tuscaloosa. Quayrusa is that guy who goes all across the field to make plays every single time the ball is snapped. He's aggressive. He's going after it. Nick Saban and his staff have done really well with those kinds of guys in the past. So um, Auburn, you know, made this really interesting because those two guys from Montgomery Carver continued to visit there. Uh, James Smith took a visit last weekend again. Roussa didn't, but he was with Marlon Davidson that weekend, who you know had his own success on the plains. Um, Florida was in there. Georgia for a long time battled, um, but Auburn held everybody off. Definitely big because Smith up the middle, Roussa off the edge or sort of back in coverage as a as a linebacker. Uh, two huge pickups for the Tide. Yeah, and this was like I said, they were there was been some criticism. How do you let Peter Woods get out of the state? You know, how is Keldrick Falk not a guy that that you want to take or didn't push hard enough for or whatever? But this is a these two are almost uh, perfect in terms of how you draw it up. You've got a big body to play inside, and then you've got uh, another guy to be an edge rusher. Yeah, exactly. And and look, you're not going to win all win them all, um, but those were some big misses. Nick Saban doesn't miss on many. I thought Keldrick Falk was definitely talented enough to play at Alabama. It didn't seem like that ever really picked up. Peter Woods was a guy who seemed to want to leave from early on, which was a little bit surprising. But when he visited Clemson, it was going to be tough to get him away from there. Kelby Collins is really the one that I think Alabama wanted very badly. That was more of a surprise and a miss. Um, but, you know, these two guys make up for it in a lot of big ways. Uh, Smith is big. He's fast. He's physical. Uh, he's gotten more aggressive when he turns it on. He's he's really, really unstoppable up the middle. And I love Rusai. I think he's a guy that we can see at the All-Star Games coming up here. Um, and I'm not making comparisons to anybody because, um, you know, sometimes those things go off the wall. But he's a guy that I think is good, we're going to see and say, wow, this kid is really, really special. He's really aggressive. And you love those edge rushers and outside linebacker types that just fly all over the field and get people on the ground, and that's what he does. All right, so big get for the Tide as they continue to roll after adding Caden Proctor yesterday, flying up those team rankings, pushing uh, for that number one spot. Thanks, Gorney.